Good day everyone, so I am Joyce Faith C. Pinyonal and today I am going to tackle about the audiovisual aids. So, what is audiovisual aid? Audiovisual aid is also called instructional material. So, from the word audio means hearing and visual which means found by seeing. So according to Kander, audiovisual aids are any device which can be used to make the learning more effective, more concrete, more realistic, and more dynamic. So the audiovisual aid, it is a training or educational materials directed at both the senses of hearing and the sense of sight, like films, recordings, photographs, and etc. that is used in classroom instructions. So, there are objectives of the teaching aids. So, the first one is to increase the effectiveness of the teaching. So, they help in concentrating the attention of pupils in learning the lesson because the audiovisual aids has graphs, charts, pictures, and etc. So the second one is hold the attention span of the learner. So it helps the teacher to present the lesson effectively and students learn and retain the concept better and for longer duration. And the last is to save time. So according to our research, there are percentage in how we can learn and retain a certain lesson. So Higher levels of retention can be achieved through active involvement in learning. So, 50% of what we hear and see, 30% of what we see, 20% of what we hear, and only 10% of what we read. So, as you can see, what we hear and see has the highest percentage. So, the audiovisual aid gives great help in enhancing students learning processes so there are educational significance of the teaching aid first one is use of all sense organs based on maxims of teaching helpful in drawing attention a good motivating force and a good substitute direct experience so it also include met the individual difference requirements. It facilitates quick comprehension and retention of concepts. It also encourages healthy classroom interaction. It can also help in positive transfer of learning. It can also solve the problem of verbalism. It reduces meaningless words and quicken the phase of learning. So the importance of the teaching aids in education is for better learning. A true aim of teacher, one who aspires to teach and impart his own ideas to enhance the young minds using modern teaching aids. Nowadays, the process of teaching aids and learning depends upon the different types of equipment available in the classrooms such as computers, LCD, using projector, and etc. So, there are also characteristics in teaching aids. The first one is accurate. So your aid should be correct and exact in all details with reference as a weapon and is capable in reaching your target. So the second one is comprehensibility. You should have comprehensibility in selecting and using visual aids. You must try to choose those things as aids which relate the new experience with past experience and which are within the comprehension of the students who are to use it for them to understand easily and follow this fashion. Third one is motivate the learners so by adding pictures, videos, charts, maps, and etc. So, fourth one is should be interesting. So, it is a main job of a teacher to create interest in the students for learning. The topic can be interesting with the help for charts, models, films, picture videos, and etc. The fifth one is it should be improvised. 
and cost effective so it should produce a good result in relation to the effort to give and of course it should be relevant so there are also problems and limitations of the teaching aid the first one is the apathy of teachers so men rather inertial when it comes to accepting change a vast majority of teachers still prefer to use the shock talk method through which they were taught. Hence, they are generally change resistant. Second one is indifference of students. So, judicious use of teaching aids will arouse interest, but sometimes it could enhance boredom and indifference. So, the third one is financial problem. So, the one-time investment in these aids is costly and may not be affordable by all schools. Fourth one is absence of infrastructure. So, lack of basic facilities, classrooms, electricity, projectors, chart stands, laboratory rooms that is used to keep models, poster, specimens, and etc. So, the last one is the language barriers so most software is in english like film cds audio cassettes so hence not suitable to regional medium schools so let's proceed to the classifications of the teaching aid so there are six classifications in this the first one is the traditional type second is based on type of projection third is based on motion Fourth is based on dimensions of object. Fifth is based on size of media. Last one is based on the number of sense organs used. So let's go to the traditional type. So there are three classifications of traditional type. The first one is the audio aids, like for example, radio, headphones, CDs. So this aids. These are the things that we can listen or hear that help us in learning. The next classification of traditional type is the visual aids like blackboard, flashcard, and bulletin board. So here, these are the aids or the things that we can look that help us in learning. And the last classification is audio visual aids. So, like for example, LCDs, computer, and demonstrations. So, in here, these are the things of what we hear and see that help us in learning. So, it use both senses now. So, let's go back and go to the second classification, which is based on type of projection. So, there are two types of projection. The first one is the projected aids like film strips, overhead projector, micro projection. So here, these aids are um, projecting visuals on to a screen. So the second type is the non-projected aid like maps and charts, photographs and posters. So in here, these are a type of projection which are not visual on to a screen. So let's go back and proceed to the based on motion. So there are two types in based on motion. So first one is the statistic aids like flashcards and charts. So in here, these are the aids that is used in classroom teaching which do not move. The second one is the dynamic aids like televisions and computers. So in here, these are the aids in which visuals or parts which are capable of being made to move by mechanical principles. So let's go to the based on dimensions of object. So the first one is the two-dimensional aids like pictograph and charts, graphs, and maps. So in here, in these two-dimensional aids, there are only two dimensions, like width and height are only visible. The second one is the third-dimensional aids. 
so like models and placements so in here these are aids that has three dimensions so there are length width and height are visible so it is also near to a living experiences or a reconstruction of a real thing so it's called to the base and size of media so there are two based on size of media the first one is the big media like computer and television the second one is the little media like film strip and radio so now let's go back to the last classification of the teaching aids which is based on the number of sense organs used so there are two sense organs used so first one is the unimodal so these are used only one type of sense so whether it is a visual or it is a audio second one is the bimodal so both the sense organs is used so these are both senses organs like hearing and seeing so it could be the audio visual aids so those are the six classifications of the audio visual aids or the teaching aids and now let's proceed to the steps in making aids so there are four steps in making aids the first one is the planning so in planning you should know clearly the objectives of your presentation you should plan well in advance anticipate the problem anticipate the size of audience and think about the quality of material to be used and also appropriateness to the subject availability of facilities for its use manner in which it is to be used the second one is the preparation so you should select the convenient and comfortable place seating arrangement must be suitable make sure that all equipment are in working order before presentation and prepare by rehearsing to make smooth presentation the third step is the presentation so Motivate the audience and stress key points they observe during the presentation. Present aids at right moment in a proper sequence. Display only one aid at a time. Remove all unrelated materials and stand beside the aid not in front of it. And the last one is the evaluation. So by providing discussion and feedback, Evaluate the effectiveness of audiovisual aids and the lecturer. So, that's all and thank you for watching.